use the algorithm to find A inverse exists. So here we're given the 3 by 3 matrix A, 1, 0, 0, 3, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. So let's start by recalling our algorithm here for finding the inverse. So we want to row reduce that augmented matrix with A, augmented with the 3 by 3 identity matrix in this case, to its row reduced echelon form. So if A is row equivalent to our 3 by 3 identity, then this augmented matrix will produce the inverse. And otherwise, A is non-invertible. So let's start here by row reducing our augmented matrix with the 3 by 3 identity. So I have 1, 0, 0, 3, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. And we are augmenting this with the identity matrix in three dimensions. So I have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And the row reduction process is the same as we know before. We just want to be careful here as we reduce since our matrix is much larger. So we start with our first pivot and we want to use it to eliminate the entries below it. So we'll do minus 3 times the first row plus the second row to produce that new second row. And then we'll also do minus 2 times the first row plus the third row to produce the new third row. And so this becomes, so our first row remains the same, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Our second row will be negative 3, plus 3 gives us 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 2 is 2, and then we have negative 3 plus 0 is minus 3, 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0. So for our third row, we have negative 2 plus 2 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, 0 plus 1 is 1, and we have negative 2 plus 0 is minus 2, 0 plus 0 is 0, and then 0 plus 1 is 1. And let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit more room here. All right, so our first column is all set. Moving on to our second pivot position, we want to use that to eliminate the entry below it. So we will do negative 2 times the first row, or excuse me, times the second row, plus the third row to produce the new third row. And so this is equivalent to the big old matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So the second row remains the same, 0, 1, 2, negative 3, 1, 0. And then we have 0 plus 0 is 0, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, negative 4 plus 1 is minus 3. We'll have a positive 6, minus 2 is 4. We have negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2, and then 0 plus 1 is 1. So our second column is good, and we move to our third pivot. And so we know we want to use this to eliminate the entry above it, so what I'm going to do is multiply the third row by a scalar of negative one-third. So this will be equivalent to 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, and we have 0, 1, 2, negative 3, 1, 0, and our third row is now 0, 0, 1. We'll have minus 4 thirds, positive 2 thirds, and then a minus 1 third. And we're ready for our last row reduction. So still working with our third pivot here, we now want to use this to eliminate the entry above it. So we'll do negative 2 times the third row plus the second row to produce the new, the new second row. And so this will be equivalent to the matrix 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And our second row is now 0, 
1, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. We'll then have a positive 8 thirds minus 9 thirds to give us a negative 1 third. We'll have a minus 4 thirds plus 3 thirds for a minus 1 third. And then last but not least, we have the 2 times negative 1 third, so we'll have a positive 2 thirds plus 0 is 2 thirds. And then our third row here is the same, 0, 0, 1, minus 4 thirds, positive 2 thirds, negative 1 third. And so we have row equivalents here. So we have produced... the augmented matrix, the 3 by 3 identity matrix, and the right-hand side is now our inverse of A. So you can say, therefore, the inverse of this matrix is 1, 0, 0, negative 1 third, negative 1 third, 2 thirds, negative 4 thirds, positive 2 thirds, negative 1 third, and there's nothing wrong with this answer. Um, if you don't like the fractions, feel free to go ahead and factor out that scalar multiple of one-third, which leaves us with matrix 3, 0, 0. And we have negative 1, negative 1, 2, minus 4, 2, negative 1. And so this is our beautiful final answer here. Again, I encourage you as you're practicing to double check this. Make sure, use your row column rule, and we want to check that we have our two cases, that matrix A multiplied by the inverse that we just found. We want to know, does that equal our 3 by 3 identity? And then since matrix multiplication is not generally commutative, we want to make sure that it is in this case, and that again, if we switch the matrices, the order of our multiplication, that we get the identity still.